Well, to this point, we've looked at quite simple plant database files. These GCP files can be loaded easily. Let me just run one of our templates and we'll pull this drawing up. And you'll notice down in the status line here, there's no mention of any plant database file. So I'll go to GK Plus. This time I'll attach one. And we'll scroll across and find one that was delivered in the forerunner of GK Plus Garden CAD. And uh, we'll open it. It's delivered with your copy of GK Plus. And if we expand the screen a little, quite a bit in fact. Notice it's got lots of columns and quite a large number of records. And if we move down here, some 500 individual records here. So there's a lot. The first thing that might catch your eye is the red underlining under names in the botanical name and common name column. And it's there for a reason. We think it's very important to get accurate representation of botanical names and even common names where possible. So the way to deal with that is Grandiflora. We simply right click and say add the word. Now I'm happy that Abelia is correctly spelled. So I'll close that. Now I'll do the same thing and add Grandiflora. The term, term Nana, whoops, right click and add that word and add and then close. So all mentions of those words now don't have the red underline. So if you work your way through your own plant database file, you can be sure that your spelling is correct. And the spelling from this plant database file will of course be used in the schedule. You might want to say remove a row. Um, the Acacia Cognata here appears to have two entries but one is a standard entry and uh, uh, but you could um, remove any duplicate rows in this instance. So to remove a row just do as you would do in let's imagine you're not going to specify the standard form. You can delete that record. You can also delete a column if you want. If you're not interested in um, pot size, you could delete it. But the key issue here is that you can sort very quickly. We can sort botanical name. See this little arrow here? It's now in alphabetic order of uh, botanical name. Now it's reverse order. The same with common name we can sort in that way, but perhaps a more useful sort is you can sort on type. Now we can see annuals at the top of the list, now vegetables and so on. So you can sort, use it to find small shrubs or whatever. And of course, we'll show you in a moment how to create your own um, plant database file. And you might like any of those terms, tall trees, tufted grass and so on that I've used here. You simply create your own. The third column here, let me go back to the third column here, just has a code. I would normally use for Acacia Acinacea, A-C-A-C, four characters, the first two characters of the generic name and then the first two of the species name. So, sorry, genus and then species. Um, if you need an extra character, um, as we did here, and I'm sure there are other examples, here's Agapanthus pricox, the um, white Agapanthus, just put a W at the end. So again, it's up to you to choose. At the moment, we don't have an ability to print out a height times width column, uh, but that will come. So I'll cancel from there. So this particular drawing has got the Garden CAD GCP file associated with it. You can add other files easily. Let's say I'm going to remove that 
Do you want all these species assignments cleared? Yes or no? We'll say yes and that's now ready to load another one. So at the moment this drawing doesn't have a GCP file associated with it. To do a new file, and I'd encourage you to make your own, is come here to this option, create the GCP file, and there we are. It's a database with a series of columns. You need to keep these columns in that order for the plant schedule tool to work effectively. So you just start filling in that information, take, keeping in mind the concepts that we've just covered. In the future, we'll try and add height and width uh, to this and to the uh, ability to print height and width. Every landscape designer wants to uh, present the schedule in different ways and uh, we've had a great deal of trouble trying to accommodate all needs but we're trying to make things as flexible as we can. So we'd like you to go ahead and make your own plant database file and if you join in with the groups, GK Plus groups, you might be willing to share some of these.